Hello everybody, I am the Movie Doll and welcome to my playhouse. Today I'm reviewing Oz the Great and Powerful CGI Extravaganza. It tells the epic tale of Oscar Diggs, a conman magician from the boring land of Kansas, who goes to the magical land of Oz and convinces a bunch of simple-minded people that he is a wizard messiah figure. Insert Scientology jokes here. He meets an innocent young woman in liquid leather pants. We all know she won't be nearly as innocent by the end of the movie. But she has a creepy sister who wants Oz to go and find this other evil witch and kill her to prove that he is the wizard messiah figure after all, and not just a con man. So he goes to kill this woman, but instead finds a beautiful princess white witch, Michelle Williams, who has been cast out of her kingdom. Even though he behaves like a complete jerk to her and constantly tries to run away, she believes that he's a good man after all, and that they need to band together to save the people of Oz from the evil witches. Why would she think this about him? I don't know, and you probably won't either, because the movie never bothers to tell us. And there ended the spoilers, my dears. So what did I think of the movie? It was... okay. Number one, the performances. I really, really liked Rachel Weisz, Mila Kunis, and Michelle Williams in these parts. I like the fact that there are so many interesting female characters in this movie. Whether or not they're all written completely well is another matter, but I give the movie at least a little bit of credit for trying. Michelle Williams, especially as the younger Glinda, is interesting to watch. She fits that innocent, sweet part very well. I mean, she's a very versatile actor overall, but I feel like that's probably the closest thing to her personality that she's ever had to play. And that had the potential to be the most one note of the parts, because it is the character that doesn't have a lot of flaws, but then again, she's still holds our attention. And Rachel Weisz fit the part of the evil woman really well. She seems subversive, but also like the authority figure at the same time. Unfortunately, James Franco really does not fit this part. I think that Robert Downey Jr. or Johnny Depp, both of whom actually turned down that role, could have been much, much better in this. They play the kind of con man with a good heart much more convincingly. I didn't believe James Franco here. As far as the technical part goes, the CGI to me got old pretty fast. There are only two elements that I really like. The beginning sequence where a bunch of flowers sprout when the Oz first arrives in the Land of Oz is beautiful. Also, there's a little character made of porcelain. She's like a little porcelain doll that Oz rescues. She's very sweet and she's very entertaining. The problem is that none of these characters are really given any time to develop. It's basically just about showing one beautiful vista after another, one CGI marvel after another. There's no real meat on those bones. And this movie had the potential for that, but it never quite reached it. To me, it seems like Sam Raimi is constantly trying to be a less gothic Tim Burton, but he doesn't have any of the visual marvel or just the wonder of somebody like Tim Burton. So what's the verdict on the film? Two and a half out of five. I am the Movie Doll. Thank you everybody for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks again.